The final game of the week for the high school football season is here with the sectional round of the playoffs getting underway on Friday. There were so many great matchups, but at the 5A level, we get a heavyweight battle between the Mays South Mavericks and the Cape and Mount Carmel Crusaders. Let's begin with Mays South. They haven't lost to a 5A opponent since September. They enter this week 8-2, and two, relishing the underdog role as they prepare to take on the top-seeded Crusaders. Players and coaches I spoke with say the number one key to this game – taking care of the football. You need to be sound, um, don't make mistakes. Uh, you know, they don't make a lot on, on offense, uh, handle the ball off as many times they do. And so for us, we gotta just, we gotta take care of the ball and not give them extra chances. Uh, so not turning it over and penalties will be a big thing for us. They are a clock draining team. And so when we're out on offense, we're gonna have to take advantage of the time we have and limit the turnovers. Everybody's gotta do their assignment. You know, we gotta be confident go in the game knowing we can win, and I, I believe we can. It's just, it's going to be a tough physical game. Uh, whoever comes out on top is likely going to go to state. And speaking of those number one ranked Cape and Mount Carmel Crusaders, we already know what their game plan is on offense. Get the ball in the hands of star running back Amari Elias. Head coach Weston Charts, he didn't mix words when he spoke about the Air Force commits upcoming role in this matchup. There's no wrinkles uh, with us. We're, we're going to do what we do. Uh, we got a couple little things that we may tweak formation-wise, but we're not going to change. Mamari's going to get the ball, going to do some play action, and uh, you know let the chips fall where they fall. I think that we just need to not worry about like our past record because it's b both us and May South are 0-0 entering this game. So it's just not thinking about past games and just focusing on this game in front of us. We have good chemistry, that's for sure. Um, we played with each other for most of our life and we know each other well, we know our strengths and our weaknesses. And when we come together on the field, we might not be the strongest team or the quickest team, but we know how to play it with each other. Not a lot of people know this, but Amari Elias right now is around 200 yards away from Bryce Brown's rushing record. Okay. The, the, yeah, the Greater Wichita Athletic League record for that. Um, and thing is about it, Weston Short says he's getting 200 yards in this game or we're not going to be competitive in this game. Well, They're going to give it the rock to him like 40 times, I think. So. I'm kind of expecting that. So many great matchups. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. There really are. It was it was yeah. our toughest week by far of choosing which game to focus on for game oh, sure. of the week. And yeah, yeah I, 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 there's about six matchups I'm loving for this weekend. I'm still stuck on Coach Self. Yeah. That contract. We'll be right back.